Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Unreal Engine 4.27 to be a portable software. At the beginning, you need to have the Epic Game Launcher, and then you are going to use the Epic Game Launcher to install the Unreal Engine 4.26. And after that, you are going to follow my step by step to, to turn it to become portable Unreal Engine 4.27. And you can put it inside your portable hard drive or any of the USB flash drive so that you can use it in any other computer. Now, I'm going to show you how to install the Unreal Engine from the Epic's official website. Open your browser. This is a Google Chrome browser. And I'm going to search it at here. Download Unreal Engine. So the first link, it show you already download the Unreal Engine. And then, for me, I'm going to choose the publishing license. Click download now. And then you can see now it is downloading the Epix installer. Just click start download and wait for a while until it finished download. Right. Now it already finished download. This is an installer to install the Epic installer. This is the Unreal Engine. Just click open. Or you can find it inside your download folder here. Just right click the file explorer, enter your download folder. Alright, this is the download folder. It is already downloaded. It is here, the Epic installer. Now I already ex I already activated it. Just need to click install. And click yes. Now it is installing. You have to wait for a while for, for this time. I will close my browser. Now it is automatically install the DirectX. Now for this time, you have to wait for a while. So once it already finished install, it will automatically start the Epic Game Launcher. Now it is verifying the updates. And now it is downloading the updates. You have to wait until it finished downloaded. It is about 500 MBs here. And once it finished, it will install the pre-required sites. And then it will automatically launch and here you have to wait for a while and just have a check the epic game launcher already pop out so in this moment you have to sign in in order to sign in for me i will sign in with google it is up to you you can sign in with your facebook or any other platform i will sign in with my google It automatically will choose the browser, the default browser, and this browser I already signed in by using my Google account. So it automatic sign in for me. Please continue to close this window and go back to the Epic Game Launcher and continue. In my Epic Game Launcher here, preparing the Epic Game Launcher here. I have to wait for a while. Now it is still loading, just be patient. Now this is the first time, choose the install location. This is the default directory. And this is another game that I already have. So I may just want to skip this installation. Just click cancel. And now I'm going to download the Unreal Engine. You can see the Unreal Engine is here. Then I'm going to install the engine. Unreal Engine 5 is available in preview, but the official Unreal Engine now is up to 4.27. I go to the library, I try to download, I click install a new version of the Unreal Engine. Now this is the Unreal Engine 4.27.2. Okay, so of course I can just click install. And 
at this moment just wait for a while now you have to choose an installation location this is the default location c program file epic games ue 4.27 i will click, click install and create a shortcut on my desktop and click install now it is downloading you have to wait until it finish install this is about 10 gb to 40 gb it is initializing and now you have to wait until it finish install 13.6 gb so here you have to wait once you already finish install the unreal engine 4.26 finish downloaded it will be here and it, it, you will have the desktop shortcut as well what you are going to do is find out the directory right click the desktop shortcut and click the properties then you click open file locations now look at these locations you should be able to see the epic games folder click the epic game folder you should be able to see the folder ue 4.27 this is the unreal engine 4.27 directory you copy this this is the portable unreal engine 4.27 Copy this into your USB flash drive or any of your portable USB hard drive. Copy in this folder. You bring it to a new computer. But before you start it in the new computer, you must make sure in that new computer you already install some of the pre-required site software for your Unreal Engine 4.27. If you, you don't have all of this, this pre-required site software for Unreal Engine 4 you can just scroll down go to my video description go and download this this is a Google Drive link that I provide you pre-required site software for Unreal Engine 4 once you download it it is a zip file you extract it you will get this folder so the three pre-required site software are the first one DirectX double click in DirectX scroll down you click the type, you should be able to see the DirectX setup. You have to install DirectX first. After you finish install this DirectX, then you have to install the Visual C redistributable 2019. You double click in and install this. After you install the, v the Visual C redistributable 2019, back to the previous folder install this the .NET FX 40 you have to install in your Microsoft window once you already finish install these three computer sorry once you already finish install these three software inside another computer then you should be able to run the Unreal Engine 4.27 as a portable software as a portable app where you can use it in any software Double click in the folder, double click in the engine, it's under the binary, win64 or double click in, go into the go into the folder, click the type, you should be able to see your UE4 editor. Double click in, you can execute and run the Unreal Engine 4.27 as a portable app. Alright. That's all for today about how to make the Unreal Engine 4.27 to be a portable app and you can use it in any USB flash drive or portable hard drive. You can run your Unreal Engine anytime just by installing all the Unreal Engine 4 pre-required -pre software. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful, Go to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.